Dassault's successor to the Mirage 3 dispensed with the traditional Delta layout and adopted a more conventional configuration. The resulting Mirage F1 has 40% more internal fuel in a smaller airframe, a much shorter field length, three times the supersonic endurance, twice the tactical radius at low levels and all-round better maneuverability. The prototype F1 first flew in 1966. The F1C all-weather interceptor reached El Armi de El Air units in 1973, and when production ended in 1992, some 762 aircraft of all versions had been built. F-1 variants follow a similar designation system applied to earlier Mirage 3s and include the F-1A simplified for day attack, F-1B and F-1D dual control trainers, multi-role Mirage F-1E, F-1CR multi-sensor reconnaissance platform and F-1C-200 with fixed IFR Pro. The arrival of the Mirage 2000 saw the conversion of surplus F-1C airframes to F-1CT standard as tactical fighter bombers. The F-1 was exported widely and has seen extensive combat with the majority of its operators, conflicts have included the Persian Gulf Tanker War, during which Iraq's Exocet armed F-1 EQs attacked oil tankers in international waters, South Africa's externals into neighboring countries and Desert Storm. The F-1 remained in widespread service in 2001. France operates two squadrons each of F-1CRs and F-1CTs, a conversion unit equipped with trainers and a small detachment of F-1C interceptors for the defense of Djibouti. Other operators comprise Greece, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Libya, Morocco, and Spain. Jordan's elderly F-1CJ-EJs are being replaced by F-16s. Iraq was the largest export customer, acquiring 108 F-1 EQs to various standards. The remaining significant operator is Spain, whose force of F-1CE-F-1EEs has been augmented by 12 ex-Qatari F-1EDA-DDAs.